All right, welcome back to the one shot. Uh, when we last left off, we found the stronghold at the bottom of this. We built up to the nether area up here. Didn't explore either of those yet. I do want to explore both of them today if we can. Well, I say today, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to record this in two separate videos. I just don't have a ton of time, but we'll, we'll see what happens. It'll I'll combine them into one because I want to try and either finish it in this one or finish it in the next one, just so it's not dragged out too long. There was a horse in here. Not sure if it was there in the last video, but it did take damage for some reason and die. Uh, but we'll take the leather. That's not the leather. I forgot how I sorted these. There we are. So I think I am going to first explore the stronghold. I was watching the... Well, when I was editing through the first episode, I remember that there was a villager that I heard up there. Not sure what was going on with that. I'm not sure why there would be a villager spawned in over there. Maybe there's a spawner for them for some reason. I'm not too sure. But if it's still over there, I want to bring it back this way. However, it could have also been the wandering trader for those guys. Not really sure about that. Got an egg. Maybe get an extra chicken out of it. Not at not out of that one at least. Eggs. All right, got a chicken. There are more animals in here that you're gonna die now that you did that. Back here. It's not your farm. So sorry. There is at least a spider in the spawner. I did realize with the block distance that is required for it's a creeper. That is sad. That is scary. With the block distance that's required to spawn in mobs, I'm gonna need to build like a tower with a ladder bringing it all the way to the top of the tower to be able to get the most amount of spawns in this. Where'd that creeper go? I don't know why it ran away. Just makes my job a little more difficult. Okay. That was more successful than I thought it was going to be. I am really hoping that there is a good bit of loot in the nether area as well as in the stronghold. Because that would be very helpful for us. What you doing in my waters? Okay, that's a good spot for a creeper. At least you can't get past that. Oh, okay. I was hoping I wouldn't knock him off. Okay. I don't know why there was a skeleton behind us, but that's fine. We are way overdue for a drop from these zombies, though. Like, aside from rotten flesh, we're overdue for, like, iron potatoes, carrots, or something. The very first one we killed of this world, it gave us one, but nothing after that. My sword is about to break, so that's not the happiest thing. Or, not the greatest thing. Let's see where we are in the stronghold. We are in the... Well, we're probably in the only spot that could have strong. We'll get the silver fish spawner out of here. That doesn't really help us much. No eyes, but that's okay. They weren't needed. Pretty much at the bottom of this chunk as well. There's no diamonds anywhere from what I can see. If that's the water I took to look down the chunk, then I am surprised that I didn't see the stronghold here. It does kind of suck there wasn't any loot in there, and it was just the portal room, but what are you going to do about it? Pig, take the extra meat. Don't. That's sad. That's, hey. You're just a child, I can't do that to you. Sleep. I don't want to use any more of the iron than I have to, so I'm just going to do a stone sword to replace the iron one. I'm going to need some blocks for that. Maybe a little bit of water as well. Why don't I have a bucket of water on me? And there we go. Just gotta make sure I am not here when it turns nighttime. At least not right now. So there wasn't any loot in the stronghold, so I'm pretty sure there is going to be loot in that uh, end ship over there. I'm gonna hope so. So I am gonna do that before the Ender Dragon fight. I gotta. This is how the pros scale. It's working really well for me, actually. I'm surprised. Well, that's not. There we are. Put that here for some easy access. Actually, probably not right there. Just for when it turns in nighttime, I don't want to go right where the blazes are spawning. Oh, another portal's ready for us. All right. Yeah, we'll throw it out here. It's probably got the most cover for us. And I will line some stone up on this side, if I can learn to place things. Just so we don't get hit off by any blazes that are looking at us. 
Not sure how this water's doing that, but I'm, I'm glad it's not running. Actually, I would like it to run a little bit. There we go. And now we can check down here a bit. We got access to the tunnel down here. It's probably not a whole lot down here except for quartz and glowstone. A little bit more cover, never hurt anyone. Gotta make a good supply of torches so nothing spawns because we had a good amount of trouble with things spawning last time. Got a bunch of creepers and spiders. I don't think any zombies spawned in, but still spawning on the main island even with the torches going. So let's add some light around here. That should hopefully be good. Just in time for the blazes to start spawning. With there not being a villager there, I am pretty sure that it was the wandering trader that was up there, but I should have figured that anyway. All right, now what happened with the water? I don't even know how that makes sense. And since the stronghold was a little underwhelming, and since the nether portion was a little underwhelming, I guess let's make our way to the end island over there. I guess it was a good thing to check here. I'm pretty sure there's Endermen spawning over there, which is good. And one just spawned right next to where I'm looking. I'm gonna go get some more water just to be safe. That looks like a horde of creeper. Oh no, that's sugarcane. Okay. And there we are. We have made it across. Didn't think that we wouldn't, but I was still scared. Got some chorus fruits. Probably not actually the best thing to have on the one chunk. I don't know if it can teleport us off of here when we eat it. However, I'm going to get a thing of water just so we can go up to that ship. And that is interesting to see. I don't know what that is. Just some obsidian, I guess. Oh, yeah. From when we dropped the water off of there. Okay, that makes sense. And that is the ship. Ooh, I do actually really like to see the brewing stand. If we get another trader, I might let them have that job. That's all we got, though. No chest for us. Oh, maybe down there. Another elytra. Enchantment table. Shulker. Golden apple. Already got carrots, so we don't need to worry about that. And a parrot. Okay. I like the parrots. They just make little noises of other mobs, but I still like them a lot one diamond for some reason and a villager spawning that is great to see wasn't expecting to see it but i am more than happy to see it why can't oh two notch apples and three regular golden apples okay i am going to keep probably going to keep the brewing stand here for now it's good to have i don't want the villager to take that job and with that we're up perfect flight back. Don't really want to use the elytra until we have mending, but it is good to have. And so is this diamond. Do I still have oak? I barely have any. Well, we are going to give this villager a little bit of an upgrade here. Yeah, we're just going to expand the house. I am also now realizing that we never opened the chests in the nether, or the nether chunk, anyway. We haven't gone into the nether yet, though that portal is there. Alright, well that's a little cramped, but we got it expanded, so we can fit another villager or two in here. But we're gonna have to find a way, we're probably gonna have to expand it up here, honestly. We just organized those chests too. Maybe we'll bring it out long ways, that'll just be easiest.
Well, that's going to look a little ugly for now, though I did realize I can just build upward. So we're going to probably do that instead of building out that way. So with that done, you're going to get your friend a bed. Get rid of those stairs because I don't want them anyway. Punch that sheep so, so the wolf can... Yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll put it right next to yours. Why not? Villager, sleep, and spawn. What is up? What job do you have already? Toolsmith. Actually, you know, I don't know where your workbench is, but I like your profession. No, I want a weaponsmith, if anything. Just got to make extra sure that nothing can spawn in here. It's a big party going on in here. Oh, the biggest. Can I please? I am clicking the button. Why is it? Do I have to uncrouch to click the button? Yeah, okay, well that sucks. Game, yeah, okay. One more creeper, you wanna blow up too? Cool, at least we can make some easy repairs. And those creepers just blew up all the loot. Well, we got two bones, which we don't need anymore. Well, we'll take it for bone meal at least. Even though the tick speed is just up as default on this world, we'll still take it for bone meal. Throw in the golden apples, and we'll go place this button down here. A wooden button this time. Maybe it's a little more visible for us. I don't even know how those turn to grass. It's like no grass blocks touching it. But that's fine. And there we go. Got the whole farm filled. Uh, how did... You know, I won't question it. You're not staying over there. I'm killing both of you. But I still won't question it. So we should be able to make another bed. Pretty sure you can breed villagers with carrots. I know bread for sure. So, is this going to be a good horse for us? It's got a good amount of health. Check on the speed in a second. Obviously, you don't want it to be too fast. If we can't control it and it goes off the edge, that's going to be a problem. It does not love us, though. I don't know if I can blame it. There we go. Yeah, you can join the, you can join the wolf. Why not? Not the fastest horse by any means, but does it have a good jump? Is that... You're kidding me. Okay. Okay. So we got pretty much the worst horse possible. The fact that it's slow is okay because we're on the one chunks and we don't want to fall off anything. But that jump. A weak, weaker jump is about as high as I can jump. And a strong jump is about as high as I can jump in a half. Yeah, you're going in. You're going in the boat for now. Surprised I never realized that the sheep side didn't have the grass. That was my main thing in getting grass down here too. So we got three ways for the grass to go through. You guys, come on. Move, move, move. Cow, if you don't move, I will slaughter you. Thank you. Also trying to make sure the place is lit up enough so we don't have any more problems with the spawns. Speaking of spawns, love to see them spawn in here. While well, we're down here. Yeah, and we have the extra blocks. Let's get this coal out of here. Mainly get the coal out of here into my pockets. That way we have some fuel for the furnace and a bit more stuff for torches. That grass is now getting over there. It's spreading pretty slowly in comparison to how it seemed originally. There we go. Got the parrot. One of the best ones, too. And how does this look like with it being on me? Yeah, no, that makes sense. Let's take care of something that's been eating away at me as well. And finally get to these chests in the nether, because I don't know how I forgot about them originally. Let's see what's in chest number one. Gold nuggets. Nether wart, that's good. And some diamond horse armor for our slow horse. Chest number two. More nuggets. Gold sword. XP bottles. A gold pick. And more carrots. Well, we, we like the carrots, that's fine. Interesting to get a gold pick out of there. Considering it doesn't really do much. Yeah, I gotta get you another bed so you can get a third villager up for us. Can you move for me? Maybe take this armor? No? Why can't I drop anything? I just can't drop the armor. Does this have Curse of Binding on it that I didn't see? No? It just didn't want to be dropped. Can you move? I don't want to let you out. Why is everything going wrong right now? Why can't I get rid of this? Why can't the parrot get off my shoulder? And why can't you get out of the door? Yeah, that's about how I feel about you right now. Golden boots. I didn't need you anyway. Let's see where that nether portal leads. Oh. 
Oh, just to the whole nether. Okay. We're going back. We got what we need right here. We, we probably don't even need that. Horus, wait, are you better? You better for us? You're already faster. Please don't fall off the edge as I'm trying to... There we are. Yep, already faster. Already jump higher. All right. You've been replaced. I'm sorry to do this to you. You are good to us. It was good to have you. And we got another bed. Got another bed for their child. Let's go ahead and make this a little more efficient. That is a zombie villager, though. Do you want the potato? Oh, hello. Interesting choice of... A spawn. And we got a pearl. Alright, let's hope that villager is still there. And it is not. That is great. What is that? I do not think I place that. Excuse me. I hate... I hate the zombie children. You're the worst thing to ever happen to Minecraft. In a hole where you belong. Editing me, fast forward when we get a zombie villager, please. There we go. Let me kill this guy. Now, follow me. That's killing me. I said follow me. Ow. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Oh. I guess the zombie villager can despawn in a boat. Let's still just get the potions of weakness ready. So let's add the eye. Then we add our gunpowder. And that will be a splash potion of weakness. Now, please do not despawn. I don't know why I wouldn't take a weakness potion. Weakness, gap. And in just three, two, one. There he is. The man, the myth, the legend, the cleric, I guess. Where are you going? Come on. Up to your bed. Come on. Now that you've been brought back from the dead. Not you. Not you. Fine. You know what? You know what? You're scaring me with the creeper noises. I know there's one nearby, but just calm down. We're fine. We're fine. Okay. Now, the second lectern. And now we start the journey. Well, with Breach being on this book, that means that the new update may have set in. And if that is the case, just by this villager, we're in a plains by him, which means we're not gonna get many. Gonna give it a little bit longer and see if this villager just has every trade. Though I do know swamp villagers in the new update are the ones with mending. So we'll, we'll see. Sharpness 5 can be really good, especially for just 11. So I think I'm gonna keep that. Don't you get rid of that sharpness, boy. And now that I've done trading with him, got a little bit of emeralds. For today, I think I'm gonna be done. However, the episode is not going to be done, as you can probably tell by the amount of time left. So, editing me, jump cut. Okay, so we're back after that couple days, few days, I forgot how many days I took in between the last couple recordings there. I did some thinking. We're probably best off to get some, to get a armorer, two armorers probably, and a weaponsmith. That way we can get some guaranteed good weapons. And we won't have to waste any of the very few resources that we do find. So we're going to try, and I don't want to say rush the Ender Dragon fight. We're going to hurry along with the villager progression as well as, as, well as the mob uh, progression mob spawner. Because we need the Endermen to spawn for the Ender Pearls. We have the blazes spawning uh, in, the, in the island over there. Can villagers be bred with carrots? think maybe but we're gonna stick with bread because I think we have to use fewer pieces of bread let's get some wool yeah I need a more efficient way to kill the mobs and the mob, mob spawner without going in there with the door being here probably just gonna go under from where the mob spawner is because that we know is the floor of it 
go down to probably right here and dig a tunnel. Lay trap doors on the floor of that tunnel, just so nothing spawns in there. And just kill him from the foot level. That one, there's an Enderman in there. Oh, hello. Oh, no. When there's an Enderman in there, we can just clear out the mobs that aren't the Enderman and then go back in for that guy. You gotta find a good way to renovate your house. I wish this was just one more larger. Hmm. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes I wish villagers could climb ladders. That would make this so much easier. So we got a witch in there, then. Bird's making witch sounds. He's making every sound of every mob, it sounds like, but he's making witch sounds. Just needed iron for the blast furnace. I'm out of here now. Don't worry, zombies. Don't worry, witch. Don't worry, spider. Don't worry, everyone else. All right. So I think I have the blocks needed for a weaponsmith and an armorer. I know the grindstone for sure. That's a weaponsmith. I think the blast furnace was an armorer, but I'll, I guess we're going to find out. All right, you two. You have a bed. You have the food. Have fun. Okay. Yeah, okay. While I'm in here, that's messed up. Get back in there. You're not allowed out. Grow up. Behave. You. Oh my god. I was expecting one villager, but I guess three is fine. And yeah, you got it. You got it. Come on. You. Uh, cat? Okay, we are at cat levels of village. We need to get a fishing hole going. Alright, I forgot about spiders. Ah. Uh. No. Okay. That made me realize that I haven't been talking for a while. S scared me half to death as well. I've just been trying to AFK up here and then listen to the bird to see if there's any Endermen spawning in the spawner. And it doesn't seem to be working all too well. I'm not sure if Endermen prefer a certain block to spawn on. Or maybe it's just me. They just don't like me for some reason. But we haven't gotten a single Enderman to spawn down there, it seems. Well, since... Today, anyway. Still gotta keep mining trees a bit, so I'll have... Is that a... How did you spawn over there? Why are you spawning there? I, I guess that makes sense. There's not a lot of light there. I, I covered the, the blaze spawner over there just in case they did spawn and shot fire at me. I don't... I don't. They probably wouldn't have an aggro range to shoot it at me, but this is wood, and I just wanted to be safe. So I, I built that as well. But that looks like it's gonna be a problem. I'm gonna have to place some torches up there or something. It looks like they're fully grown, and it looks like there's a there's another one as well. Okay, I didn't see that uh, fourth one there, but we needed two armorers anyway, so we'll probably turn that one into an armorer if that was the right block. I wasn't paying attention to what jobs they had. Are you a Fletcher from downstairs? Are you a Fletcher? Is what what the hell is going on? Are you the armorer? Oh, you're a weaponsmith. Yeah. What what are you guys doing? What's your trade? Is that iron leggings? Good, all right. It's a shame that we can't get a ton of coal. Is like an extra third of your progress bar up there. We'll just trade with the Fletchers enough, build up some sticks. Way more than I already have, actually. I need like thousands of emeralds to, to level you up, but that's fine. Any Endermen in there? Sounds like just spiders. Yeah, that sure looks like spiders and spiders. I'm surprised things aren't spawning faster in here, honestly. Considering everything else is lit up a good amount. Well, except the nether island over there. There's a good few things spawning over there. I should probably take care of that. Oh, and I haven't even thought. There's the uh, zombie spawner below here. I should probably light that up a good bit too. And yeah, you guys are exactly why. I think there is an enderman down here. You're taking my blocks, but that's okay. Hey, come back here. Come back here. I need you. Ender pearl. Ender pearl. Yeah. Get out of here. Got blaze rod. All right, we need those eventually. Why are you still spawning? There's a torch right here. Okay, now we need some torches up here. And then let's throw some down here as well, just because it can never be too safe. We got the glowstone, but 
We have same things spawning over here. Any Enderman? That sounds like a skeleton. I do like those. Let's make some sticks so we can trade with the Fletchers. We have one less iron than we need for another armor. Or for another blast furnace. Okay. I just need two, but I'm still taking all that is there. I forgot my staircase goes right next to this. Oh, well, I guess there's only four, which means we have two extra. So we can make a sword if we want to. What does he offer? Is that an iron helmet? That's good. I mean, I'll take the iron arm. We got iron leggings on the other one up. We got iron leggings on the other one up here. I thought one of these was a was leggings. Did we not just check that? I'm so sorry, villager. Don't hurt me. Don't hate me. There we go. Now your leggings. You keep that. I'm gonna lock that in while I can. I forgot my leggings haven't broken yet, but they are just about there. I forgot about the weaponsmith. Yeah, we gotta get you leveled up too, huh? We got five emeralds, so I'll trade with you once. I mean, iron axe is good. Oh, actually, yeah, iron axe is really good because we have a big old tree to use that on. Stone axe, it was good having you. We have leveled up now. All these iron leggings, and I'm gonna throw them off the edge because I don't have anything else to do with them. And they're gonna take up a lot of room. Not so good to mine a tree this quickly. Now we'll get more emeralds in half the time. Not not quite half the time at all, actually. It takes very long for the trees to grow, and other reasons as to why it's not half the time. It's definitely not half the time, but still, we'll, we'll get them a little bit faster. I'll at least get through this tree faster, and that's what makes me happy. You know what? I just realized I'm kind of dumb. One, we can get a lot of emeralds from the Fletchers. We got two Fletchers right now. And we have a brewing stand, which means we can give the brewing stand to one of the villagers and get a cleric. And the cleric, at the max level, gives us ender pearls. I completely forgot about that. And that's thunder, that is. Zeus has figured out our plans and we have to sleep. Which one of you guys wants to get freaky? Have fun, okay? There, there better be a baby here when I get back. Where did the spruce boat come from? Oh no, I, I had it for forever. I forgot. That's how I trapped the zombie villager. Never mind. Never mind. Ooh, iron sword with sharpness two on him? I'm okay with that. That's good. That's good to have. That's like diamond level. Diamond level damage at least, not diamond level unbreaking. So many mobs in here this time. And still not a single zombie has dropped us iron. Gotten carrots. Carrots was the first thing. I think we got potatoes as well. But no iron. I'm not sure if I want to use the Elytra in the Ender Dragon fight. I feel like that might be a little cheap, but we'll, we'll see. I know it does take a good chunk out of the protection that I would have, but we'll still see. After one more round of getting some sticks, I'm probably going to get that Sharpness 2 sword from him. He's got to grow for me. I don't want to waste bones. I will waste one bone. I mean, it's an iron sword. We haven't had an iron sword this whole playthrough. You know, since I'm not good at the water bucket clutch for not taking fall damage, maybe I will bring the elytra into the ender dragon fight. One blaze rod. Each blaze rod gives you two blaze powder. And there are 12 ender pearls, so we need six blaze rods in total. So five more. All right, we're up to three. But that axe is about to break, so I'm gonna cut it a little bit short until we get another axe and or that sword. It sounds like our cleric has matured. Was I correct in that assumption? Yes, I was. Alright. Now I'll have somewhere to throw all this rotten flesh, too, so I don't have to keep throwing that out. Can you get out of the door? Why do y'all love the door so much? I guess we didn't need lapis from the thing. Got some glowstone. Nice. Alright, it's gonna be much easier to get these ender pearls than I thought. Can you? Where are you coming from? Now back up for some blaze rods. Oh, I only needed two. Well, still, it's fine. One, one extra never hurt anyone. Unbreaking two, power two, and infinity one. That's a, that's a good bow. I'm gonna buy that right now so I don't forget that you have that. Get the weaponsmith. Hello, sir. I am out of your supplies. I appreciate you. Thank you. Are you kidding me? This better be the biggest tree that has ever grown in this game. Considering this is 
12 things of bone meal. Okay, it, it took 11, and that is, it's not a bad tree, at, at the very least, but it's definitely not the greatest. Leap. Ow, oh, wow. Well, finally got the ender pearls unlocked. And I did say I wanted to ride my horse into the Ender Dragon fight, but I thought that it was going to be on that island. So I did not make the staircase wide enough for that. Or big enough for that. I don't think, anyway. I think it goes down to a 1x2, and the horse cannot fit into a 1x2. Yeah. Well, I mean, maybe it could. Maybe the dream is still alive. I'm just gonna put a couple pillars here, just so I'm not stupid. And fall off right before the fight because I would do something like that. Oh, a wandering trader. Hold on. The last one killed himself, so we get to check out this one. Yep. Are you kidding me? Well, that's just the saddest thing. You know what else is a sad thing? Baby villager, you gotta grow up so I can trade with you too. Actually, maybe not, because this might be might be able to get all the end pearls I need. Got six for Amiya. I think I had five in the chest, which means we're at 11. Can you not? I, I can't go out the door with you right there. Yep, at 11, just need one more, which we technically have the emeralds for, though I'm still going to give it a little bit extra time, just because. Why not? Six. I do have enough for boots. If only, if only we got, like, more than one diamond. I, one diamond is so strange. Got some paper. Get some gunpowder, an elytra, some fireworks. I'm gonna need more fireworks than that. Diamond horse armor, gotta equip this to my baby boy. Make sure you're protected in this fight that's gonna happen. All right, we got the eyes. I'm gonna get a few more fireworks. 45 should be good. Put all the sticks in here. All right, we got the notch apples and the regular apples. Regular golden apples, sorry. And I think we're ready to do this fight. Nothing is on the verge of breaking. Chest piece is the lowest out of everything. The boots haven't even taken damage yet. You ready, horse? I forgot how fast you were. I hope I'm playing some sort of epic music as I'm going down into here. Excuse me? Alright, well, forgive me. I'm gonna have to go into creative mode and break this and replace these Eyes of Enders because this usually only happens with the frames if they were placed in creative mode. And I don't know why, but you have to place the Eyes of Ender facing each one instead of just throwing them in all willy-nilly. So just give me one second here. All right, so got that fixed. Sorry about that. I didn't want to switch it into creative. I wanted to have the world template locked as is, just so you guys knew it was locked as is, but hopefully I showed it in the editing that it switched over from being locked and that I never unlocked it, which means that I never went into creative mode. So people who think that I went into creative mode, aside from just to do this, stop it, get some help. All right, here we go. You can't go into the end with a horse. This is new information. I did I did not know that. Franklin, wish me luck. I'm gonna miss him. Right, here we are. Don't you come for me. Why? I hate you. No, 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 I didn't look at you. Stop trying to make me look at you. Stop. Stop. Oh, sweet lord. I didn't do it. Go talk to your mother over there. We got a pearl. Nice. I think I just looked at another. Or I guess not. I, I could have sworn I looked at that one, just not the other one.
Did I hit? I think it did. I forgot this was a god apple. I definitely didn't need to eat that now. It's okay, we're, we're, we're just down one of those. I know that's not all of the caged ones. There was at least one left. Can I? Did I, did I look at you? Did I look at you? Yeah, editing me. Fix that game sound, because that is way too loud. I've never heard the Ender Dragon be that loud. And I even turned down my game sound the last time I played this, just because it messed with my previous settings. Come on down and fight me like the woman you are. Again, it's so surprising you're so loud. Yeah, on Bedrock, you can't shoot through those little cracks on the side, though. Yeah, you can't shoot through here. How am I not hitting you? Oh, another perch. Alright, should just be one more. There we go. Still hate how loud she was for no apparent reason, but that was it. Not too bad. And there's the egg. I guess that does it for the one, not one block, but I guess that does it for the one chunk survival. We did that pretty easily. Thank you guys for coming out though. I hope it was decent. I hope it was pretty entertaining. That last little bit is probably the, or the second episode here is probably not as entertaining as the first one might have been, but it depends on how I edit it. We'll, we'll see. If you want to see more, let me know. Uh, for Minecraft, the next thing that might happen is the, the world expands sort of thing, if you know what I'm talking about. Like each day the world expands by like one block by one block, but you start out on like a one by one or a two by two square. Might do that. We'll see though. Before I close the episode, I want to check to see if my horse is still down here. It... Well, that's just... That's just... That's sad. I guess the horse didn't make it. I don't know why. He didn't go through the end with me. I don't think he was up here. No? Alright, so, yeah, just minus one horse, I guess. Rest in peace, Franklin. Or whatever your name was, I really don't remember. But, yeah, thank you guys for coming out. And I will see you in the next one.